This is a sneak peek to the chicken coop that he's doing. All right, so this is our the construction for her of our chicken coop uh, where we're at so far. I kind of took inspiration from a greenhouse that we bought that had a similar structure has a similar structure to this that we just wrapped in plastic. And I thought, yeah, I'd probably make a pretty, pretty simple chicken coop. So I just went down to Lowe's and I bought a bunch of three quarter inch uh, steel conduit um, and then bent it into bows. That's these parts right here. I've been all those around um, and uh, drilled them out, ran my uh, nuts and bolts through. He used this two over here. Show them because <laughs> this is such a cool tool. This is the this is the the tool that I use to uh, to bend it. You see, I bought the S right to the two there. I'll be putting a, a roof on it, a metal roof, and then on this far end here. On this far end right here, I'll be putting a wall in here, um, along with the walls on the ends. I'll be putting a wall in here with a door, um, so they can come in here and we'll have nesting boxes along this wall right here. Uh, and so all the chickens will be able to run freely in here on like rainy days, and it'll be, it'll have a completely covered roof, so they'll have shade. Um, it'll and then just be open on the, from about here down with uh, chicken wire. So it's very light and it's, uh, it's it's made from galvanized steel, so I don't have to worry about wood rotting or uh, or it being not holding up to the elements. This won't rust. Everything that even the hardware that I use is all galvanized, so it won't rust. It should be good to use for a really really long time. And it'll look really nice. It'll have a colored metal roof. We can choose the color. Probably red, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it just seems like chicken houses ought to be red. <laughs> but we'll see whatever's on sale. And so if you can visualize, this right here will be just a wall here with chicken wire. It'll have metal roof from here all the way up, over, and down this other side, down to here. And then chicken wire for, for from here down all the way along until we get to the room on the other end. Here it'll have a door, it'll be a sliding door made with chicken wire. It'll just slide open and then when you come inside it'll, you know, close behind you or whatever. And then you, all this here will be open for the chickens to run around. All open all the way to here. Where there'll be another wall with another door so you can slide and come in and they'll have all their nesting boxes in here and they can come in and out as much as they please in so they can sleep in here we'll have perch perches set up for them along this side here we'll have some perches uh food and water will probably be out here no samuel no. <laughs> don't do that now daddy has to clean that up daddy. yeah here Help Daddy clean these up. Now that you, uh, now that you made a mess, help Daddy clean these up. My wife wanted an explanation as to why my face looked like this. <laughs> See, he's all black. Did you wash your face? Me? Not lately. <laughs> um. Careful. You have to be careful. Well, come here. Come here. You have to be careful. Oh, poor baby, you have to be careful. So the reason my face looks like this is because I was welding. I was making some anchors for along here. Once this is done I have and I have the roof on here, it's like a, the roof is like a sail. The wind can come underneath and try to pick it up and it'll and, and if it does try to pick it up, it will just twist Mommy. it all up and it'll be we'll lose it. So to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to put anchors at, e at the bottom of each one of these bows. There'll be an anchor that goes that I'll hammer into the ground to 18 inches, all the way along on both sides. Oops. And then uh, hopefully that'll keep it for when the wind comes under here. I think we, I've, I'm really pleased with how this is coming out. It's good and strong. Yeah, I did a fantastic yeah, job. It's still a little bit wiggly this direction, back and forth this way. Did you have help? Yes, my dad came out and helped me a lot. This is mine. Thanks, Dad, if you watch this. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, this is our greenhouse that uh, we bought. We bought it before we started on our chicken coop. You can see there's a lot of the design of this that inspired, that inspired me for uh, our chicken coop. I made a few minor improvements to our chicken coop, but the, ba the same basic design is here. This I bought on Amazon. I was really pleased with the price that I paid for it. I read some of the reviews and the really, the only thing that people complained about on it was the anchoring that comes with the kit. But I figured that's something that I can, uh, I can remedy at home. So the, the anchors that I was making earlier for the chicken coop, I made some extra ones for this. So hopefully I'll be able to take care of that problem. It's made out of some very lightweight steel tubing. And then plastic that we put over this is already made to fit the shape of this, this greenhouse. So it has like a zip up door on either side and then it has windows on each side there. We'll, we'll be posting a link down below for those of you that are interested in a, in a very economical uh, greenhouse. I think I paid a total of uh, $230 and that includes the frame, all of the hardware and the plastic. Uh, including shipping and handling. And we're going to be putting this over our uh, garden area there. And then all of our plants that we want to keep the deer and the uh, squirrels out of will be in here. Uh, the other year when I had my garden out here last year, I had nice big uh, tomato plants and all kinds of tomatoes that grew on them, but we didn't get to eat any of them because the squirrels and deer got them all. Uh, and that was a lack of planning on my part. So this year I'm a little more prepared. I'm going to put them inside this, which should keep the deer out and the squirrels. And plus it's a greenhouse, so they'll grow better. My chili plants, which no one touched but me yes, last year. Apparently squirrels don't like chili. Those I'll put on the outside. They seem to grow just fine. So if you guys have any questions about uh, how I've put this together, what my plans are, or really anything, just comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions if I have an answer. Or at least direct point you in the right direction. Anyway, this is the plan. I'll have a garden in there. Show the final product as we're as we roll it out. You guys can watch our our harvest later in the year.